the thoughts of a majoring in computer science never even crossed my mind. And I got a 31%. I really had these doubts about software engineering. How do we feel about this? Is this okay? Is the lighting okay? I hope you guys like. I literally put up these plants behind me just to make the space look a little nicer. We are cozy. And now we've got audio. Oh my gosh, it has been so long. Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another sit down chit chat type video. I thought it would only be fitting because it's been about, actually it's been over a year since I posted that video about computer science at Berkeley, talking about when and what classes I took and some advice I had. Me personally, I so if you want to hear more about the logistics of the major, go and check out that video because this video is going to be jumping in to the real juicy details about the CS journey outside of just the logistics of what classes I took in order to major in computer science. I'll be diving into my thought process going through those four years of college and more importantly, I really want to highlight the grades that I got. Spoiler alert there are quite a lot of F's involved. We're gonna go ahead and break this into four chapters. Chapter one, getting introduced to computer science. Chapter two, loving computer science. Chapter three, really struggling with computer science. And chapter four, I just want to get the degree. I can't do this forever. Oh, and in case we haven't met yet, hi, nice to meet you. I'm Evelyn. I'm a 23 year old product manager working in tech here in San Francisco. I graduated from Berkeley in fall of 2019 with a simultaneous degree in computer science and business. And I make videos here on my channel about product management, career, life, and occasionally college. If you wanna see more regular things about working in tech, you can also follow me on my Instagram right here. All right, chapter one, a little bit of context here. I was born and raised in Southern California, specifically Orange County, and tech is just not that big there. There aren't too many tech companies that are headquartered down there. At least back when I was growing up in Orange County, tech was just not a big thing there. The thoughts of a majoring in computer science when heading into college never even crossed my mind. So then how did I end up taking my first CS course? Well, at Berkeley, computer science is huge. It's everywhere. All my friends were talking about computer science, specifically the introduction to computer science class, yes, 61A, and it enrolls over a thousand students. I think it's the biggest class on campus. So when all your friends are taking the class, you see people coming back from the internships with their fancy backpacks and the free food, and you hear everyone talking about the six-figure salaries right out of college, well, you think, you know, maybe I'll give it a try. And that's exactly what I did. I took CS61A with a group of my friends, and I honestly really enjoyed it. There is a huge support system in the CS61A community, and I ended up walking away from that class with an A, and I thought, this is great, I'm gonna keep doing this. Since I took that first class the second semester of my freshman year, at that point, I knew nothing, didn't know enough to do any internships. So that freshman summer, I actually interned as a data analyst intern over at Kaiser Permanente. Had nothing to do with CS, just wanted to throw that in there. So you can kind of see how my internships progress over the years as my classes and majors change. Chapter two, as I mentioned before, I was coming out of my first CS course with an A. I was on top of the world. That summer, I took my second computer science course, the Introduction to Data Structures course. Once again, pretty straightforward. Ended up walking away with an A in that class. And and at this point, I was thinking, I've taken the first two classes for computer science. I've been getting A's. I must be meant to major in computer science. I'm doing so well and I'm enjoying it a lot. And then major reality check. I took my first upper division CS course, Instruction to CS Theory, and I got a 31% on my first midterm. 31%. That is below an F. Was I incredibly disappointed in myself? Yes. I was incredibly sad. I, at this point, was thinking, okay, maybe CS isn't meant for me. Being a straight A student all throughout high school, getting this crappy of a grade on a midterm destroyed me. I didn't want to do computer science anymore. I was like, this is not meant for me. I studied really hard. It's not paying off. I'm just not meant for this major. But then I talked to a lot of my friends, a lot of my peers, and this is why I feel like having friends in computer science, having a support system in general in college is so incredibly important. After talking to my friends, taking a step back, at the end of the day, I was honestly enjoying this course a lot. It's a bit less of learn these algorithms and we're gonna test if you understand these algorithms, but more more so giving you a more complex problem and seeing if you can figure out what algorithms to use. That aspect of the class, I actually really enjoyed. After finding that perspective, I realized, you know what? Maybe getting these bad of grades aren't too bad. At the end of the day, I walked out of that class with a B. Yeah, I went from a 31% on my first midterm, not so great scores on midterm two in the final either, but I walked out of that class with a B, which 
is not bad at all. I was very happy with getting a B in such a tough course, at least for me. So quick little side note for all my Berkeley students currently struggling in computer science classes right now, getting that horrible of grades in midterms and finals like that, more often than not, you're going to end up with a final grade that are letters higher. And we'll talk about that a little later in another class that I thought I did absolutely horrendously. I am just sharing my thoughts and my experience. Please take everything I say with a grain of salt. Summer of my sophomore year, I interned as a software engineering intern at Microsoft, which brings me to year three. Hello. Do, do, do. Took a little break. So much I want to say, and then I just end up cutting it all out because it becomes way too long. I'd love to talk more about college, more about computer science, more about product management. So if you'd like to see something like that, please let me know. Junior year, really struggling with computer science. This actually stems more from my internship than it does from my courses. In my internship, that's actually when I realized I don't think I want to be a software engineer. Quick little TLDR on this because I have talked about it in my path to becoming a product manager. So I'll link that up there if you guys want to see it. During that internship, I was asking all these questions to the people around me. They were passionate about what they were talking about and I didn't feel the same. So coming back into year three, into junior year, I really had these doubts about software engineering specifically. Not necessarily about the computer science major because I still thought surface level, I really enjoyed computer science topics, reading and learning about these things. But when we got into the nitty gritty details, learning C, I was happy with that. The layers below it, I just did not find that interesting. When we got into the projects and midterms that dealt with actually having to look at the binary code, I just was not interested at all. And I was really struggling with being a computer science major, combining how I was feeling about the computer science classes I took this year, along with this idea that I couldn't see myself doing software engineering for even the next three to five years. But I realized that I needed to try something that wasn't software engineering. I knew I still wanted to work in the realm of tech. I knew if possible, I would like to work with engineers because I still liked having those discussions. And that is where I found product management, a great combination of still requiring some CS knowledge, but not so much to a point where you're coding on the daily. In junior year summer, I came back to Microsoft as a product management intern, which brings me to chapter four. Outside of my classes, I was fresh out of my PM internship, really enjoyed it, realized that product management was what I wanted to do full time. So I started recruiting for full time PM roles. And at this point, I was a couple classes away from finishing up my CS degree. So I went ahead and did that. I picked two courses that I was most interested in the topics about artificial intelligence and computer security. And I went in with the same mentality I developed the year before, which is I am not going to beat myself up if I don't do well in these classes. Because at the end of the day, I do think I still had some learnings from the class itself, even though I don't walk away with A's or B's. And that's exactly what happened. I got a 48% on my first midterm, 42% on the final, and surprisingly walked away with a B plus at the end of the day in my computer security class. Just goes to show you those midterm and final Final grades that you usually would beat yourself up about, you never know what you'll actually end up with as your final grade in the course. That fall, I wrapped up my degrees and started at the full-time job I have today, a product manager. And I absolutely love this job. I could not be happier that I ended up with this job. And I just wish I could tell old me who was looking at those 30, 40% grades, it's gonna be okay. You're going to figure it out. It's not going to be the end of the world if you get horrible grades on your midterm and finals, because at the end of the day, there are still gonna be learnings you take away from the course. Better yet, your overall grade, especially at Berkeley, isn't gonna actually end up being that bad. So if you care about the grades that much, just know it will get better. The midterms and finals in Berkeley CS are harsh, but the curves are usually quite generous. If there's one thing I could go back and change is just how much I beat myself up about those bad grades. And all the times I doubted my ability to get through computer science, seeing all those crappy grades can be really discouraging, which at the end of the day is why I wanted to make this video. For any of you guys out there who are even considering CS, take some courses. And if you don't do so well, don't get discouraged. For any of you guys out there who are struggling like I did in computer science, it'll be okay. I mean, you saw my grades, you saw what I got, it'll be okay. I would focus more on the larger topic at hand. And as long as you're interested in that, does it really matter just how well you understand it? Maybe to a degree, but 
I would say that as long as you're happy with what you're learning, keep at it and try to find a good support system. When I look back on my experience, what I really took away most from that are the surface level learnings and more importantly, the group of friends that I made through majoring in computer science. So yeah, that is all for today's video. I hope this helps. Please let me know down in the comments below if there are any other questions you might have. Otherwise, I will catch you in the next video. You can also follow me on my Instagram here where I post more regular content about working in tech. Bye.